Welcome back to SA Live. Well, the Alamo City comes alive in the summer, and you know, there's always something to do. And we found some music, some magic, a ghost tour, oh yes, and a concert that will make our teenage hearts come alive, and it's all happening this weekend. First up, set sail on a food adventure. You have a little more than a week to enjoy the Seven Seas Food Festival at SeaWorld. You can try food from 10 different countries. There's about 60 meal options and nearly 50 beer, wine, and cocktail options. It's an exciting foodie adventure to go with the exhilarating coasters and extraordinary animals. It continues this weekend and ends on Memorial Day. Oh yeah, that was fun. Okay, the 40th annual Tejano Conjunto Festival is going on right now and it continues into the weekend. It features the very best in Conjunto music and dancing over five days in Rosedale Park. There'll be dozens of bands performing tonight through the weekend, including a student showcase to kick off Saturday and Sunday. Tickets are $15 a person and $10 on Sunday. 90s kids, listen up! The new kids on the block are coming to town with their mixtape tour. They're performing at the AT&T Center tomorrow, Saturday, May 21st. At last check, there's still some seats left, and joining them will be the legendary Salt and Peppa, Rick Astley, and En Vogue. So, let your inner teenage heart melt one more time. If you're looking for a little more action, the first anniversary of Brawl Off Broadway is happening Saturday. It's a professionally sanctioned fight club. The, the Brawl is an intense and immersive experience that combines music, culture, and boxing. It's going to be hosted by rapper Paul Wall, and he'll have a short concert after the event. The Brawl begins at 10 p.m. From boxing to wrestling, come out to Colt Sports Park and meet the amazing wrestling superstar, Doc Gallows. He once competed in the WWE Tough Enough Challenge. The amazing local wrestler, Hernandez, will also be there. They'll be doing a meet and greet, autograph signing, and a special photo op. There'll also be vendors, kids, games, face painting, jelly ball, and there will even be a bar inside for the grown-ups. It's happening this Sunday, May 22nd from noon to 5 p.m. If you're looking for more fun for the kiddos, Magic Show in the Garden is happening Saturday, May 21st and starts at noon. It's happening at Landa Gardens and will be featuring Illusions by Blake. He's been on SA Live before and puts on quite a show. You can see I have some cards here on the table. One, two, three, and four. These are the queens. Now it doesn't matter that they're, they're the queens, all right? I'm just gonna spread out the cards on the table. I'm just gonna tap the cards with a wand. One, two, three, four. And we can see there are now four gold coins. Oh, well that is just a taste. We hope you go enjoy the show and be amazed just like we are. And this weekend, Psychic and Spirit Fest is happening at the historic and haunted Victoria's Black Swan Inn. And there's a lot happening, so we brought Paranormal investigator Fred Garza Guzman and Joanne Rivera, owner of the inn, here to tell us more about this spooky event. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, guys. Uh, thanks so much okay. for being on. Oh, Fred, tell us about this weekend and what's going to be happening. Yeah, so t tonight is a VIP event. It is a ghost hunt of the property, and it's an intuitive event. So we're going to be kind of using some spirituality and ourselves to kind of get in touch with the spirit world. Tomorrow is the full-fledged fun day. It, it, we're going to have speakers, entertainment. We have a unicorn, uh, vendors, readers. Um, it's just going to be a lot of fun. And, as, you know, everybody in the community is welcome, including kids. And, of course, this is at the haunted Victoria's Black Swan Inn. Joanne, tell me about some of the things that you or others have witnessed there, paranormal-wise. Well, the property is super active. Um, everything from doors opening and closing, lights coming on and off, doppelganger activity. You might be thinking you're having a conversation with me, and then I'll walk into the Stop. room. Stop. No. No way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So, <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Oh my gosh. And look, you're, you're, you're seeing it right there on your screen. Okay, Fred, tell us about your paranormal background. Sure. So um, ever since I was a kid, I had kind of weird spirit activity happening. And so as an adult, uh, I started going on ghost tours and all over the, you know, the United States and getting really interested. I started ghost hunting and then I decided with my husband, hey, I think we should do a ghost tour company here in San Antonio and kind of share the stories that we grew up with. You That's know? A, and yeah. of course, you do tours year round, right? Yeah, all, all year. Okay. Yeah. And you brought something with you and tell us what it is. So I brought some divining rods. I'm going to hand you a pair. Okay. Um, but divining rods here in 
Texas, we've used them for a long time. They're a device that people use to find water, also electricity. But now we have saws and CPS. We don't need them for that. But we can use them for spirit communication to get in touch with our subconscious. So the idea isn't that spirit's little fingers are moving these. It's really that we're tapping into our subconscious and getting answers that we can understand. So they give us yes or no answers. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate if okay. that's OK with you. So if you want to do this with me, you can. So I'm going to hold them to my chest. Okay. And I'm going to start off by finding a key. Can you show me a yes answer? And they crossed. So that indicates that's a yes answer for me. Okay. So put them back down. And how about you do a no answer? So if you want okay. to just put them up and see, can you show me a no answer? Can you show me a no answer? And that no answer is apart from the cross position, I believe. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Right. I, mean, I, I may not have the touch. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no. They're moving. Okay, there you there go. We go. There you go. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. Now, all right. Uh, now, of course, San Antonio, a lot of history here, yeah. a lot of activity here, yeah. spirit wise, right? Yeah. There, there is a ton of it. Everything, you know, from our Native American ancestors mm -hmm. to today, our, our rivers and our creeks are still alive with that kind of energy and magic. We just want to make the paranormal a little more normal for folks and just like give people devices like this and let them kind of decide for themselves what's real and maybe what's not. And how can folks join in on the fun this weekend? Well, we're open all weekend. We open every first and third weekend for the artisan market. But this weekend, they'll be able to come and have readings, experience of the different shops, food trucks, complimentary alcohol. The bar is always a big plus. Um, the VIP ticket tonight is awesome because you're actually going to get to participate in an investigation of the property. Um, you can come and spend the night with us when you're ready. Um, it's just a lot of fun. So the whole weekend is going to be filled with lots of spirit activity. All right. Thank you both so thank much. You. Kick off your summer with the spooky events there at the Psychic and Spirit Fest at Victoria's Black Swan Inn. Again, it's tonight and tomorrow. For more information, all you have to do is uh, head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab.